Yeah. Yes. Maximum fiber recruitment. This is kinesiology that I ended up learning back when I was a, a competitive power lifter in order to make myself as explosive and strong as possible. I just applied the same exact science to punching now. So let's take a cross as an example punch. There are three movements that essentially give power to your punch. The first is the step, which moves your body into the punch. The next is the twist, which brings your shoulder forward. And then of course, connected to your shoulder is your arm. And then you have your tricep that lashes out. And in most cases, your hand twists over. So let's just look at the arm. You take your arm and it's your tricep that's going to, to have to flex in order to make your arm go meh. Now in that example, when I just went bleh, I might have only used the small handful out of all of the muscle fibers in my arm. If I was to use all of the muscle fibers in my arm and I was to trigger them all to fire at the exact same moment, that would be maximum fiber recruitment. And if you're not training and thinking about recruiting all of these muscle fibers at the exact same time, you are shorting yourself on an incredible amount of power that you can have. So the, the trick initially is to isolate a certain part of the movement and to make that as powerful as you possibly can by triggering every single muscle fiber. So visualize this. I want to, in my mind, picture every single muscle fiber in my tricep and then boom, flex them all at the same time. Boom, flex them all. Boom, okay, and get used to that. Now there's another uh, video directly below this one that has a bunch of drills and exercises you can do that will trigger maximum fiber recruitment in these particular movements. Now once you have maximum fiber recruitment in one movement, it becomes more difficult to add another movement. For example, if I'm twisting my torso now and I'm throwing my arm out, well, the first couple reps, <clears throat> am I really recruiting every single one of these at the same time? Probably not. It's going to take some focus and it's going to take development of neurological function. Your brain actually has to get good at sending the messages through your nerves that tell every single muscle fiber to contract at the exact same time. You have to build the neural pathways that trigger those simultaneous explosive movements and it's going to take some time. So now you need to focus on two movements at the same time. So I'm going to focus on twisting and extending my arm as violently as I can, again visualizing every muscle fiber working in unison. Okay, you do this over and over and then you add the third movement. Now I want to drive off my leg, I want to twist my torso and I want to extend my hand and I'm going to visualize every muscle fiber at the same time. Okay, maximum fiber recruitment. It's kinesiology, but until you thought about it and until you sat there, broke the punch down into its three different movements and, and practiced that individual punch maybe a thousand times on a heavy bag, you might never have developed that power. The more you do this and the more frequently you do this, the more power you're going to have and it's going to be an unfair type of power, like power like Somebody's guard is up, you punch him in the hand and you still hit him in the hand so hard that he gets knocked out. That's the type of power that kinesiology and muscle science can give you. So maybe learn some more about it. In fact, check out the hook lesson on elastic recoil if you dig science and you want to use some science in order to give you an unfair advantage in a fight. Talking about ending fights instantly. Yeah.